Jamo Baraimo Jamo Baraimo is a Nigerian painter and bead artist. He is well known around the world for his colorful portraits that represent the culture of Azagabo, Nigeria. A portrait is when you create an art piece that focuses on the face of the person you are capturing. His portraits are created with bright colors and shapes. He paints with oil paint and glass beads. If you look closely, you can see the beads in this painting. He was one of the first African artists to paint this way. His work has been shown in art galleries around the world. This is one of his openings in Nigeria. Sometimes he will also include animal portraits with his portraits of people. What animals do you see in these paintings? What shapes are the heads in his portraits? What shapes are the eyes, noses, and mouths? Sometimes he will use shapes in his backgrounds. Sometimes he will do color blends. Can you see both of these here? Jamo Braimo has taught children all over the world. He has a wish that others will be inspired by his work and will create art as well. So today we're going to make a portrait inspired by Jamon Braimo. Now you're going to need a sheet of uh, black construction paper or another dark color, and you're going to need your oil pastels. I'm going to take and slide that to the side and I'm going to get out my white oil pastel first. And I'm going to find the very middle of my paper and maybe go up just a little bit. And on one side of my finger, I'm going to be making my eye. Now I don't want a little tiny eye because you can see that the oil pastels have big t tops. So we want to go ahead and we're going to make one rainbow. And then I want to come over to here and I'm going to make another rainbow. So I have my two, the tops of my rainbow eyes. Now I could make a circle bottom or I could make um, a slight little smile bottom. It's up to you. Now we're going to go ahead and put in a shape inside of our eyes. Now I'm going to do an eyelid shape like this. I'm going to put in another rainbow, but you could also put in a circle or maybe even another shape if you prefer something else. So I'm going to go ahead and put rainbow shapes inside of mine and you can do what you want in yours. And I think I'm going to put a circle shape inside. So now we have two eyes. And now we're ready to add in our nose. Now I'm going to come up to the edge of my eye and I'm going to be making a nose shape. Now I might want to make it triangular. I might want to make a rectangle. I might want to make a circle shape. Any kind of nose you want to make. And they're going to touch up onto our two eyes. And now you could leave it like that. Or if you want, you could add some shapes onto the side. I added a couple of circles. And now I'm going to go ahead and add in a mouth. Now he makes mouths in all different kinds of ways. You can make yours all different kinds of ways you want. I'm going to take and make a rainbow and a smile underneath. And you could leave it like that if you want, or if you wanted to add in another smile, you could.
So now we have our basic face shape. Now we're ready to go ahead and put in our head shape. So as I go to put in my head shape, I could make a rainbow, or maybe I want to make it more like a square. Maybe I want it to be more like a triangle. It's up to you. I'm going to make mine kind of like a big rainbow. And now underneath, I'm going to make a big smile, or maybe I want to make a rectangle. It is your choice, but I'm going to finish off my head. Now for my hair, I have a couple of different things that I could do. I could go ahead and add in a line inside, or I could add in a line outside, or maybe I want to do both. I could also take an add on a neck if I wanted to. So I could put in a neck, and I could put in some shoulders. They could be rounded, they could be square. It doesn't matter. So I have my basic portrait done. If I wanted to break up my background at all, I could take and make some lines or shapes in my background. He did all kinds of things in his backgrounds. What inspires you? Now you could also take and play with some pattern or repetition. So with repetition, you repeat something over and over. So maybe I do circle, 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 or square, 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 square. I could add some different things in if I wanted to. I could also come in and do line, 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 line. And I could add anything anywhere I want in my art piece. Now once I've gone ahead and done that, now I'm ready to start coloring in my person. And I can use any oil pastels anywhere I want. It's best if you start at the top and work down. But if you do different things, you can as well. So since I'm starting at the top, I'm going to come up to my very, very top. And I'm going to start to color things in. You have fun coloring yours now too. Now at this point, I can be done. I have a beautiful oil pastel portrait. Now for those of you who want to be able to go a little bit farther, I want to show you another step you can do. And in this step, you can take and start to blend one color on top of another. Now when you go ahead and do these kinds of blends, you're not getting rid of the color underneath, you're just adding to it. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to come up into my sky, and I'm actually going to take a purple on top of my blue. And you see how I still let some of my blue show through? But I'm now adding in a purple highlight. And what that does is it makes the color a little bit richer. And I could do that in multiple sections if I want to. So I could take and play with one color on top of another color. And if I wanted to, I could even use three colors. I could totally play with lots of different ones. And what happens is the colors start to blend with each other and they become very beautiful. You don't have to do it everywhere. You could do it just in a couple of places if you want to, or you could do it in more depending on what you're interested in. So go ahead and in a few places, try adding in some darker colors or blending some colors as well. And now a final step I could do, I could take and go back in and um, 
outline over my white with my black. And if some of the white stays, that's actually kind of lovely as well. You have kind of a double outline. And so what will happen is if you go over your white, and you'll see how there's gonna be some of my white showing through and that's totally fine. I don't need to do it perfectly. But what will happen is it'll make your face have a little bit more contrast and contrast is when things pop out. So kind of the opposite of camouflage. So in camouflage, things hide, but with contrast, things pop out. So if you want, you could do a step where you do some outlining. Now you could also take, instead of using black, you could use another color for your outlining. It's your choice. But you'll notice I'm not doing it perfectly, and that is okay. That'll actually make it more interesting. So I've just gone over my white lines with a black. So let me show you too, if you decide to do it with a color one, you can do it with a color one as well. But do you see how the color ones don't show up quite as much, okay? So you can do it with color too, but sometimes the colors won't show up quite as much as a black. So I recommend either doing it with black or maybe redoing it with white again too. And there you have your finished uh, Jamon Brian Mon inspired art piece. Thanks for joining me today. Bye bye.